Each year, World Monuments Fund presents the Hadrian Award to an international leader who has advanced appreciation and conservation of art and architecture. In his capacity as Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of American Express, Kenneth Chenault is a visionary leader. My favorite quote uh, about leadership comes from Napoleon. And the quote is, the role of a leader is to define reality and give hope. He understands the importance of preserving historic sites. And what's very important about historical sites and landmarks is they give communities an identity. They, in fact, give nations an identity. I think they can help revitalize a community from an economic standpoint but also, I think there's nothing more important than having pride and knowledge in who you are and what you stand for. Early on, American Express collaborated with us at the archaeological site of Angkor in the 1990s, a time when travel in Cambodia was still treacherous. Continued support has made Angkor a hallmark conservation project. In 1996, American Express sponsored the founding of the World Monuments Watch, a program that calls attention to threatened cultural heritage, fosters participation, advances innovation, and finds solutions. The watch often has a catalytic effect that revitalizes communities. I think for American Express, the opportunity to partner with the World Monuments Fund gives us the opportunity to give back to the world at large and to ensure that historic sites and landmarks will be there for future generations. Rome's ancient Temple of Hercules, a rare surviving sacred structure built from Greek marble, had been greatly neglected. The watch led to substantial funding from American Express and the temple was restored. The adjacent Temple of Portunus also included on the watch is being conserved thanks to American Express and other donors. I think what is particularly exciting to me about the World Monuments Watch is that it brings attention to historical sites and landmarks that need to be restored and preserved and the impact that it can have on a country, uh, that it can have on the community, is incredible. At the extraordinary ruins of Petra in Jordan, the Rose Red City was included on the watch to call attention to damage caused by earthquakes, floods, and mismanaged tourism. American Express supported conservation, signage, and improved site management. The company has aided nearly 150 World Monuments Fund sites in 63 countries. I think the World Monuments Watch program enhances the travel experience because whenever people can learn about history and learn about the past, it's going to make for a better individual and a substantially better society. An American Express employee in Mexico enthusiastically endorsed the watch nomination for the Ruta de la Amistad, an ensemble of sculptures commissioned for the 1968 Olympics. American Express originally helped fund the Calder sculpture, so it's fitting that the company help conserve these works in 2012, the 150th anniversary of American Express in Mexico. I think that our partnership really has rallied our employees. They are so proud of the relationship that has been created by our two organizations and what we're doing to preserve historic sites and landmarks, what we're doing to the communities in which they live and work. And so that's something that they can be personally engaged and the level of involvement and pride from our employees is very high. In presenting this year's Hadrian Award to Kenneth Chenault, World Monuments Fund is honored 
to celebrate a man who leads a company that is a model of enlightened corporate social responsibility. I think the World Monuments Fund plays a fundamental role because it's about history. It's about the past and we can't in fact prosper in the future if we don't have a strong understanding of our past and our history. Thank you.